Welcome to Java Forum. Now I am going to show you how to install Alma Linux 9.2 on VirtualBox 7.0 with guest edition. So before proceeding the installation of Alma Linux 9.2, uh, make sure that you have uh, uh, installed the updated version of VirtualBox uh, software. So here I am using VirtualBox 7.0.8. Okay. So first of this, I am going to create one new virtual machine. So I am giving one name to the virtual machine. Next, I am providing the uh, destination directory where virtual machine files getting stored. Next, I am providing the Alma Linux 9.2 uh, DVD ISO file path. Okay, then skip the unnatural installation. Next, I am providing 8 GB RAM and 4 CPU cores. Finish. So right click settings, system, and check the floppy. Optical drive will the first device to boot. Pointing device will be USB tablet. So network let it be at as it is. Okay, rest of the settings uh, remain as it is. Let us start the Alma Linux 9.0 version. So English United States will be the default language. So select the installation destination hard disk, software selection is server with guy, time and date uh, selected accordingly to my time zone, uh, root password, provide the root password and begin the installation, that's it. Installation is completed, now let me reboot Alma Linux 9.2 virtual machine. So there are some final steps remaining. So I am doing that. So provide the login username. So using this username only we are going to login. And provide the password for the login user. Okay, start using Alma Linux. So Alma Linux virtual machine is successfully installed. Now next step what I am going to do, I am going to mount the Alma Linux 9.2 DVD ISO file. Before that, uh, I am going to adjust the screen display. Okay, so now I have mounted the Alma Linux 9.2 DVD ISO file. So from the DVD ISO file, I am going to copy some RPM files. Okay, so these RPM files are nothing but these are the dependence file required by VirtualBox guest edition software. See, these are the list of RPMs. Okay, so these RPMs are required by VirtualBox guest edition software as a dependencies. So uh, open the terminal, uh, switch as a root user. So um, I am going to install all these RPM in a single shot. Yes. So uh, installation is completed. That is, we have installed the dependencies required by guest edition software. Now I have eject the Alma Linux 9.2 DVD ISO file. Now I am going to mount VirtualBox uh, guest edition CD image. 
so next i am going to copy the content of uh, cd image to one directory locally from here only i am going to install the guest edition software So open the terminal, uh, switch as a root user. So I am giving, providing the permission to the guest edition software. So dot slash vbox linux edition dot run. That's it. This will install the guest edition software. Okay, guest edition software installed successfully. So now uh, close the terminal i am going to power off the virtual machine so go to virtual box alma linux right click settings advanced uh, Shared clipboard and drag and drop will be bidirectional. Shared folders, I am going to mount the uh, Windows uh, directory to Alma Linux 9.2 virtual machine. Auto mount, select the auto mount. Okay, that's it. Now Okay, no problem. So hard disk will be the first device to boot. Now start the virtual machine. Okay, virtual machine started. Now I am going to type some command in the terminal and I am going to copy paste the uh, terminal output to Windows Watch Machine. Yes, I can able to copy paste the content from Alma Linux 9.2 virtual machine to Windows Watch Machine. Now let me try from Windows Watch Machine to Alma Linux virtual machine. Yes, so shared clipboard feature is working. Now finally we try the shared folder feature. Let me, you can see shared folder uh, is got mounted but it can be accessed as a root user only okay switch as a root user internal yes go to cd slash media you can see the content of uh, mounted uh, directory okay so alma linux 9.2 installation on virtual box 7.0 with guest edition is successful